Converting Fractions to Decimals, Part 2. In Part 1, we learned how to convert fractions with multiples of 10 in the denominator to decimals. The link to that video will be in the description box below. But what if our fraction doesn't have 10, 100, or 1000 in the denominator? Is there a way to convert it into a decimal? Let's take a look at an example. 3 over 5. Our denominator is 5. Not 10, not 100, and not 1000. But we can change our denominator to be 10. This would be an equivalent fraction. We do this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2. We get 6 over 10, or 6 tenths. We put the 6 in the tenths place, and then we write the decimal point between the ones and the tenths column. Then we add the 0. So we get 0 0.6. If you like the other method more, we can also use it here. Our denominator has one zero, so we move the decimal point over to the left one digit. Then we add our zero. Let's do another example. 6 over 25. Just like in the previous example, we have to find an equivalent fraction so that the denominator is a 10, 100, or 1000. Let's take a look. Can we make the denominator a 10? No, because you can't multiply 25 by a whole number to get 10. Let's try 100. We can multiply 25 by 4 to get 100. So 100 works as a denominator. Don't forget to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. Now we have a numerator of 24. Now let's write 24 hundredths as a decimal. We have 24 over 100, or 24 hundredths. To convert to a decimal, we have to write the last digit in the hundredths column. So we have a 4 in the hundredths column and a 2 in the tenths column. Then we add our decimal and we add the 0. We can also use the other method to convert 24 hundredths into a decimal. We rewrite the 24 and we check how many zeros are in the denominator. The denominator has two zeros, so we move the decimal point to the left two spaces. Let's do another example. 3 over 40. Let's write its equivalent fraction. Can the equivalent fraction have a denominator of 10? It looks like we can, by dividing 40 by 4. However, we have to remember that we have to do the same operation to the numerator. If we divide 3 by 4, we get a fraction or a decimal, which doesn't work here. So let's keep looking. Can the equivalent fraction have a denominator of 100? No, because we can't multiply 40 by a whole number to get 100. Let's try 1000. 40 times 25 equals 1000. So 1000 does work as a denominator. We also have to multiply the numerator by the same number. 3 times 25 equals 75. We have 75 over 1000, or 75 thousandths. Let's write it as a decimal. We place the last digit in the thousandths column. So we have a 5 in the thousandths column and a 7 in the hundredths column. Take a look at the numerator. We only have two digits. We don't have a third digit to put in the tenths place. So we use a 0 as a placeholder. Then we add the decimal point and the 0. Let's convert 75 thousandths using the second method. First, copy the numerator. Then we count how many zeros are in the denominator. 1, 2, 3. Next, imagine a decimal point to the right of the 5. Then, move that decimal point over to the left 3 spaces. 1, 2, 3. In the empty spot, add a 0 as a placeholder. Finally, add a zero to the left of the decimal point. In part three, we'll look at the universal method of converting fractions to decimals. This method will work for any fraction. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.